everyone. Thank you for watching. This is going to be a quick unboxing on my new uh, NVIDIA Shield console. I actually ordered this yesterday morning. I got a notification today that it was shipped. And to my surprise, I got home and it's here. So, this is going to be unboxing, unpacking. That's all the stuff that I ordered yesterday as well. I ordered a 16 gig or 32 gig SD card for it. And I ordered some vitamins. They're probably all in this box. So, let's see. There she is. This is gonna be replacing my not so old Android TV box. Oh, isn't she a beauty? This is gonna be this is the 16 gigabyte version, and like I said, I order a 32 gig card to go with it. Like I said, this is going to be replacing my Android TV box that has been great so far, but it has some uh, issues with some apps. So this is going to be replacing my Android box. It works great, but there's some apps that keeps crashing uh, due to the reason that this is uh, this is uh, Chinese. Uh, Android box has been rooted, came rooted from uh, from factory. I got it back in December, and it's great. It works great, and it's been my uh, my only uh, means of entertainment. I have all the apps that I want in here, but like I said, some apps will crash. Uh, Google Movies will not play. You can hear the audio only, not the video and crackle will open and as soon as it's gonna about to open it crash and that's always been like that so and YouTube only works on 720 so this is gonna be replacing that Nvidia Shield and I know you guys have seen a lot of uh, the unboxing videos but I'm gonna make my own so let me see let me open this up Actually, so NVIDIA Shield. All right, let's see how she looks. I mean, I already know how she looks. Uh, this is going to be a little trick to do with one hand. So let's see. Oh. I'm going to have to put the camera down. Alright. So there she is. It's actually smaller than it looks. On, t on, on the videos so that's the console power button there's actually an ambient light right there that changes colors it's actually pretty pretty heavy uh, we got the SD card slot micro SD to charge the remote to USB 3.0 Ethernet uh, HDMI and power in it's proprietary power in which I don't like but and on the bottom they got some vents for the heat to escape um, I ordered just the plain one with just a controller I'll probably be getting the remote at another time 
So we got the controller. It's rechargeable. It has a battery pack inside. And you connect the charger to it. It has a headphone in. It's actually lighting up, so that means there is some power to it. So, uh, let's put that aside. A couple honest manual books. HDMI, USB to charge the controller, and the power brick right here. You already seen all that. So, I'm just gonna set this up and go for the first boot up. So that's the first boot up. You just plug that in and it came right on. <clears throat> I'm actually using my mini keyboard that I have for my uh, Android. I'm going to use that because it requires you to sign in with your Google account. So I'm going to pause this and go through the setup and I'll be back. Uh, well it is on but my uh, keyboard not working. So it tells me that I have an over the air update. So I'm just going to push that. And it's downloading an update. <clears throat> so we're restarting after the update. And I don't have to go through all the process of showing you what it can do or what can it do. You already seen all that point of this video, which is showing you the unboxing and the first boot up, which you already seen as well. Now I just gotta set up all my apps that I had on my Android TV, my other Android TV, and be ready to go. So that's the first boot up after. The the update. Let me see if my any chance. Nope. Keyboard did not work. Alright. Oh, another update. Well, that's cool. Alright. I'll be back when all the updates are done. Alright, so it's starting again after the other update. So let's see what happens. Alright, so this definitely does not work. Let me try plugging it in and plugging it, 
plugging it in. Oh, there it is. Ah. How about that? It did work after work, after all. So let me finish setting it up, getting my apps in there, and be right back. Okay, so it's already all set up. All the updates have been done. I'm just trying to figure out where the install apps that I install from my uh, from Android website goes to but there it is it works great um, thank you guys for watching see you next time